Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to Solo Learn Introduction to C++ Part 7. This is going to be a rather short video. We are just going to do the Module 1 quiz and this is located on basic concepts at the very end, Module 1 quiz. Let's go ahead and take this. So, please fill in the missing parts of the code to print I love C++ onto the screen. Okay, so first let's include this IO stream. Uh, let's use our standard namespace. Let's create our main method, which returns type int. Let's return zero down here. Let's make sure we got that all right. Cool. Um, next, please type in a code that declares two variables of type int and prints their sum to the screen. Okay, so int x equals four, int y equals seven, int sum equals x plus y, and then let's print out the sum and then let's end line. Awesome. So, in every C++ program, select all that apply. Each variable must have its data type. Okay, there must be a function named main, true. And there must be at least two, de two declared variables. No, so just these two. Um, next one, please type in a code to print to the screen the value of x divided by y. Okay, so we're going to say cot and x divided by y, and then we're going to end line. Awesome. So what is the output of the following code? We set a to equal 3, b to equal 2, and then we say b is equal to a plus plus. Okay, um, so now what we're actually going to get is, let me think. So A is equal to 3, B is equal to 2, now B is equal to A++. plus plus. Alright, so now it's going to be equal to um, 3, 4, uh, let's see, I think it's going to be 4. Let's make sure, I might be wrong. There we go, cool. So 4 guys, if you didn't understand how that worked, what we had was A in this bucket of int a equals 3 and then this bucket right here int b equals 2 then we set b equal to <coughs> 3 plus plus okay um, and then um, what we did right there was we we were uh, pre-incrementing it so we end up with 4 cool um, awesome guys so that was it for um, C++ Part 7 on the Module 1 quiz. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, you can always, you know, use a hint and, and get the answer right there if you're not sure. But if you, this one was kind of tricky, I think, because here we have B is equal to A++. So we have, we have, um, it is 4, right? Or, or it should be four, um, and then. But so what? What's actually happening, guys? Is um, th yeah, this is, this one's kind of confusing, especially even for me looking at it. It's kind of like a brain teaser. So all we're doing right here is we're pre-incrementing b, but at this point it's already it should be um, it should be three right here. I'm guessing because this is post increment and it hasn't actually. Uh, picked up yet but um, yeah guys um, if you have any questions let me know um, make sure to give this video a like please comment subscribe and support the channel it means a lot so thanks for watching guys and have a great day take care